Hi, what you're looking at here is a flat rate price book sample that I put together from TurboBid. Every assembly that's in our new database for service and remodel work is in this sample. I generated the reports and I exported the reports to PDF. And within PDF, you do have the ability to combine multiple PDF files into one. And that's what I did here. If we go to our bookmark, you'll see that all of these are actually, or they were, separate PDF files. But there is a, you do have the ability to combine multiple PDF files into one. And you can have a index, a workable index, to where you just click on what you want and it will take you to that file. All right, let me go back to appliances. I am going to hide the index and then let's zoom in a little bit. Now, the reason you would do this, if you want to do flat rate pricing for service work or remodel work, this is something that you can carry with you. Uh, your receptionist can have it. Your service technicians can have it. You can have it on an iPad. You can print it out. But what it does, it gives you a quick, easy reference for pricing. Here we can see we're in appliances, cords, and we have the option here, install, replace, 110 volt appliance cord. This is what your technician would have, or your, your company, this is your company's view. You're going to be able to see what's your material, what's your material cost on it, what is your labor hours, the labor cost, your material and labor and then your bid price. This allows you to quickly tell a customer, well, if we were to replace that appliance cord, it's going to be $55. Uh, if we're going to replace a range cord, four wire, $79. Great tool to have. All right, now let's take a look and see how you can generate this. You know what, before we get into the how-to, let me show you the report or price list that you can give to your customers and that would be in the flat rate pricing. So we'll go to appliances again since I kinda gave you a little reference of that. Alright so here's the report. You can put in your customers name if you want to give this to a customer put in their name. You'll notice that in the category or I'm sorry the uh, the column headings we've used the description for the category, for the assembly category. You can put together a list, whether it's this price list, uh, flat rate list with everything, or you can do special ones. If you wanted to put together a list of your most common things, whether they're, they're can lights, dimmers, under counter lighting, a list that, that you would want to put flat rate price in, and your flat rate price, and remember, it's, a, it's an average, but it's pretty much reflecting the worst case average where you're going to make a nice profit, you're going to make a nice margin from that amount. But it provides you with a, a way to give your customer a price list, flat rate pricing, and you're telling them, if we install this, that's what you're paying. Now I'll show you how we do it. In our new database, we have a project titled Flat Rate Pricing Service Technician. So open up that project. Okay, let's go to our direct cost tab, direct labor. Select the manpower that you want to use for this pricing. In this sample, we selected our service electrician that's reflecting a billable rate per hour. So in this instance, we have $101. That includes the manpower burden, so all of your payroll, taxes, everything, your overhead to run your company, and then the profit on top of it. So that's a billable rate per hour but select what your labor cost would be for it. Maybe you have different ones. Maybe you would have one for a crew with a service electrician and a helper. Well, then you would use the average of those two by selecting another one. Anyways, select the manpower, and then we want to go to our Estimate Info tab. Now, you simply just want to create a new estimate for every separate section of pricing that you want. In this sample, and you have this, all of these are in yours. I created a separate estimate for every category that's in the service remodel section of your database. 
ton of stuff. There's over 6,000 assemblies in here. But I already did this for you. So let's go to our takeoff. Now in your estimate drop-down, this is, remember, you can toggle through your different estimates. So we'll stay on appliances. Then here you'll see for the column headings, I name the column headings for the different categories that are in my, um, my database. So we have cords, dishwasher, dryer outlet, garbage disposal. Those are the categories in the database. So those are my columns because that's what's going to appear on your list is the headings. And then I just simply added in the assemblies that I wanted and put in a quantity of one for each of them. Now on your flat rate book, it's not going to show quantities, but here in order for it to appear on those reports, you put in a quantity of one. And that's it. Like I said, you already have all of this on your in, or in your turbo bid. So all you have to do is change your labor rate and enter in your um, overhead and your profit amount. So let's go to our bid price tab. So you'll come here and select your overhead and profit, how to calculate that. Then you'll go to reports and generate the report. Then at that point, you can choose to print it if you want to print together or print a book, or you can export it to PDF and do what I did. So that's it. That is a great way to create your own flat rate pricing books. You can have it on PDF. You can put that PDF on an iPad or on a laptop or print it out into books and have all of your service guys carry the book or your iPads and you're good to go. So once again, TurboBid is the most versatile program out there. You can do service work, you can do new construction, you can do commercial, you can do flat rate books. So thank you very much. If you have any questions, please let me know.